speak thee the name of God, thine own God, if thou canst recall. Ah, then thou's not forgotten. Perhaps tis why we may converse. I am known as Shira, servant to the Princess Filianor, matriarch of the church. They who are kin to God's name are surely kin to the terrors of the dark. Please, I bid thee take not from the princess her peace or rest. As the fire waneth, does she lie by the dark, all for the sake of man. Thou'st a kind heart to speak to a captive such as I. It is no surprise thou rememberest our God. May I ask thee a kindness? Perhaps thou'st beheld the lone dragon that inhabited this city. Medea is his name, and the arch dragon are his forebears. He once railed against the dark, but was by dark afflicted. Now here, returned, he remaineth to watch over the sleeping princess, true to the old accord. And yet, I would have thee put the dragon to rest before the dark consumeth him, and his vows are forgot. I offer my sincerest gratitude, thou who art kin to God's name. Please, take this. I have asked a thing most terrible of thee. May this token of thanks be of aid. I beg of thee, put the great dragon to rest, afore the dark consumeth him and his vows are forgot. So, Medea hath into the chasm fallen, still his voice I hear, the dark grieveth him yet. I prithee, put him to rest, before the dark consumeth him, and his vows are forgot. Just afore the church of the princess standeth a tower, honouring ancient knights, there lieth the small shrine behind the sculpted knight, which beareth no arms. Tis from there one may descend the chasm of darkness. I prithee, put the great dragon to rest. thanks. Tis thanks to thee the dragon erred not from his vows. Please, take this. 
the final gift of thanks. Now, hasten on thy journey, but wake not the slumbering princess, as the fire waneth does she lie by the dark, all for the sake of man. now a spear of the church. What a wonderful, blessed day this is. With a spear such as thee, surely the princess will slumber most gently, and Medea's vows will be honoured. I must thank thee, as a servant of the princess, and a dear friend to Medea. May thy travels be resplendent with glory. As the fire waneth, does she lie by the dark? But now with thee to shelter her sleep, bless ye, spears of the church. May thy travels be resplendent with glory. Ah, thou'st a divine spear become an honour once bestowed in the time of the gods, nearly unheard of in this age of waning fire. As a servant of the princess and friend to Medea, I am honoured to have met thee. Thank you. 